Here they are. All right, Frankie, it's time for another game of Knife Desert Island, I guess. I don't like this game. You know I don't. Yeah, we haven't done it for a while. You guys know if you watch the channel for a while, we do the the you know pick five knives for the rest mm -hmm. of your life under fifty. I think we've done that twice. Different price structures. Price brackets. <laughs> yes. Um, then we've done the over fifty probably a couple times. This mm -hmm. is a little different. Okay. Well, at first we were thinking, all right, let's do let's pick a number and over over, over three hundred. Yeah, we were thinking three hundred at first. So. But knives. then we realized it was only a few. Yeah, we didn't have enough to choose from. You guys know lately we really don't buy that uh -uh. many knives that cost over 300 these yeah, days. Yeah, we're more budget driven. Yeah, so then we were like, okay, what about 200? And then that, that opened up a whole world of oh, this one's gotta be in here ZTs too. and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it would have been too many. Uh -huh. It would have been too many, okay? So we ended up settling on $250. Yes. So how it works real quick. We need to pick, these are all the knives that we have that are $250 mm -hmm. and up. Yes, there's a few that are really, really close, and we're going to get rid of those ones first. Yeah, yeah, just because, to make the point. Yeah, they were so close, but they don't count. They're honorable mentions, but they mm -hmm. don't count. So the scenario is, pick, we're going to say the last three knives for the rest of your life. Yeah. And that's all you get. Not all right? cool. It's, everything else in your life is the same, mm -hmm. but you only get three knives for the rest of your life. So and what do you then, choose? narrow it down to your very last one. We might do that. Yes. So you out there have to pick, uh, if you even have them, some of you aren't there yet, some mm -hmm. of you never will be there with the knife hobby, uh, just a choice, but $250, what's your best choice? Yeah. All right. So for us, I mean, real quick, the ZT456 um, mm -hmm. by Sinkovich Designs. And the 920. And the 920. These are both $240. Yeah. Excellent knives. But no. They don't, don't count. They don't count. No. So they're out. No good. Okay. Um, how about a Microtech? I think those are like 225, 220 ish. 235, maybe up to that. Yeah. Yeah. I bet if that was carbon fiber, it would count. Yes. Yeah. That would drive the price up, but it doesn't make it. Nope. Ultratech would be good. Yeah, it would be. Um, what else we got here, Frankie? We got a Kaiser. The Megatherium. Yeah. One of your all time favorites. Yeah. Elijah's design. Doesn't make it 230, no, 230. 233, something like that. It's it, it doesn't even count if you say you paid 250 for something. No, we're going off Blade HQ prices. Yes, we got to narrow it down um, a little bit. Oh, the Skaha version two. Mhm. Mm Guys, this would be an excellent choice. Yeah, it really. Would All be. things considered, EDC for the rest of your life, excellent choice. No. 225. Oh yeah, I forgot I put this one in here. The Nakamura. Yeah. I have this one. This is the one that I kept. I sold the carbon fiber. If I had the carbon fiber, it would still be in here because it is over 250. Yeah. This one is not. Nope. Nope. Good knife. Yep. All right, let's tighten them up here. What are we left with? Anything else? Okay, Frankie, these are Blade HQ prices. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we're going with here. Kinda these are the standard pricing. These are all the knives that we have over 250. Take a look there. You guys will probably spot something right away that doesn't fit. All right, there you go. Not uh -huh. a whole lot. All right, Frankie. Yes. Right away, I think we have to get rid of one. I Just, don't think we should. Yeah, here no. it goes. No, no, it's ours. Take a look. It is in our possession right now, uh -huh. but we do not own it. I want to keep it, though. This is the Olenic <laughs> Squish custom design that was only, I think it was only one of these. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think uh -huh. that was it. Yeah, one of this one. Yeah, and that's that's raw. The bird should be in the bird family. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, we right, don't, Nick. <laughs> we don't own it. I know. I know. So okay, I'll, I'll put him. I'll I think that him. I forget what that costs. It's probably at least six. I no, forget. That's the basic version. I How think much is that one? Like twelve hundred. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh uh, well, I said at least six. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. What it's else we got? Go back into his little bed. Oh, look at that! Frankie's even putting it back in the pouch. I'm taking care of our knife. Okay, so what are we left here, Frankie? Uh, how well, about the beast? We could get rid of the beast. You I'm could, pretty sure you're not going to pick it, and I'm not going to pick it either. No, you could baton firewood with this. That's well true, but I wouldn't want to carry it daily. Oh, so the beast is out. Mm -hmm, it is. <laughs> you guys, three hundred and fifty dollars on this one when it was new. Yes, made in China. Mm -hmm. um, D two steel, and. I like the design, but uh, no, it's it's obviously out. <laughs> One benefit, if you did choose it, you could make a few knives out of it. True. You know, like I could I could learn how to craft knives, and I could make probably 
five or six knives out of you that. You could machine this down <laughs> to two or three knives, mm -hmm. like two normal size knives yeah. and then a baby. Yeah. yeah, like think of how many you could get out. <laughs> True, yeah. I don't know. No, it's gone. I'm thinking it's down gone. the road. All right, what are we left here? We could get rid what of something else, unless you want it. Do you want this in yours? <laughs> let's show them, let's show them. Okay. This is the Stediman Thunder Fury. And kid seats are still just 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's M390, by the way. And Six. you'll know because it's a blotchy, blotchy little, uh, oh, it's on Corrosion? the other side there. Yeah. No, it's got the, oops, there it is. It's <laughs> that's got the, the annoying on part it. of it, too. There it is. No, that says that. Jeez, you are just on it. There it is. It's crooked, <laughs> it's blotchy, it's M390, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, it is not double edge. Could no. have been so much cooler. If it was double edge, would it be in your top three? No. Three hundred and thirty dollars, <laughs> I believe, is what these sell for right now, Blade HQ. You got more room over there. Okay, I'll put it over here. Okay. So what are we left with, Frankie? Good knives. Some good ones. Let's mm -hmm. tighten them up. Let's Some tighten good them up. Ones. Well, I hate to say it, but I mean as, as long as I'm getting rid of the beast, there's not really a place for this knife either. Yeah. This would be true. this would be well over seven hundred dollars probably when it was new. We got it third hand I think <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just not practical it it is nice and if yeah. you like it you I can, can make a couple it. knives out of that one too Absol absolutely yeah <laughs> but it's out okay now we can tighten them up here there's still two Medfords there is all right now I can get a closer shot so we can see them all you guys the sea monster by we I believe it's 253 this is Goldie we've named him Goldie yeah, that's the only color, if you get the sea monster, that's the only color to get. You have to get it in the gold. Yeah, and actually look, it's got kind of like the purple accent. Mm-hmm. It's really cool looking. It's a neat knife. The only thing I've realized that I don't like about it is the finger twirl. Oh, I just wish it uh -huh. was I just wish it was a complete blade. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like can it, see that. I feel like it doesn't belong in that knife. But yeah. I do like it. Um a little too showy. You I, don't like the flashy gold? It's got it's got super quality. It's an interesting design. It's just it's not going to make it for my last knife, though. Yeah, I can I can't that. seriously, like, take that thing out of my pocket around people. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, yeah. But yeah. it's just, it's more of a collector. All right, so what are we left with? We got two NCCs. Mm-hmm. I could see this one going far for you. It might. You never know. And then the NCC MK1S. Yeah, that's a nice knife, too. Nick Chuprin out of Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. It's only uh, early 20s. Yeah, that might go farther for me as well. Um, there is a Microtech. There is a Microtech. Let's show. I want to say this one's uh, coming in at 320, and it's because of carbon fiber and the bronzed finish. Mm-hmm. It is an awesome knife. I really like him. Probably should have closed that before I start messing with it. <laughs> the blade towards the stomach is always good. I can't good. show them. You get your hand behind there. What does it say date-wise? 8-2017. I can't quite read it on camera. Okay. It says 8 2017. Thank you. You're welcome. The UTX 85, though. Mm -hmm. The other ones don't qualify, but since this one's carbon fiber, it does. The price got bumped. Yeah, yeah. it did. The one and only Spider Co., Frankie. There is a Spider Co. There's a lot that are more expensive, but we just don't have them. So, yeah. This is the Sleesh Bowie. Yep. No longer available, but it was uh, $300. Mm hmm. It is a good knife, too. Popular knife. I, I like it. I appreciate it, but I stand by it. It's just a little, a little boring. A little I like, I like the other two Sleesh knives better. Do you think that you would keep the Wii? No. Let's show them that. I think this one's still in. Okay. All right. Not you're, the most practical knife. I know you're not going to choose this knife. No, I'm not. No, it, it's just too much of an art knife. This is three hundred and fifty dollars. I believe you can still get them. Maybe like these that. might be sold out by now. Actually, mm -hmm. at the time of the video here, it, there's so much work into this knife. It's amazing for three hundred and fifty dollars. Is just it's so much knife, but no, just not as a everyday last knife ever. No, can't can't do it. Mm -hmm. So, so smooth. It's out. Okay. Unfortunately, no. It's a depressing game. Yeah, it really is. Oh, Frankie, you got your hands on one. Yes. I want to keep them in here. Here's the thing, guys. At the time of this video... We the, don't know the price of it. The Titanium Sheepdog Mini Damasteel. We don't know the price. No. The the other Sheepdog in Titanium with the mm -hmm. blue one, that's 204 So we, we can probably assume this is going to be more, but I just... But it's smaller, too, so maybe not. I don't know. I can't see this Kaiser 
being, being over on. 250. And we I, don't know for I'll sure. I'll pay 250 for it. Right, right. It's out. If it means that I can keep it in here, I'll pay 250 for it. It's out. Please. Okay. Frankie, talk about your Medford. My Medford? This Medford, that My is. little baby Medford? Yeah. My baby Brick. He's... Oh, that's his name. <laughs> baby Brick? <laughs> like Brick out of Anchor Guy. Anchor Guy. Anchor Man. Anchor Man? That's Brick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I what like do you think? it. I really like this knife. It's a chunky bastard of a knife. Let me see. <laughs> You're a chunky bastard of a knife. I I mean, I'm not going to pick it. I can't. It's cool. It's unique. It's very solid. Well, if I got rid of this, there's three knives for each of us. Can you pick one yet? Yeah. I can pick one. I'm going to pick one. This is the only reason why I wouldn't choose this. I got this before Frankie. All right, you get to go next. You get okay, to choose okay. next. I don't know. Is it out? He's going to hang out. There's okay. a chance he might come back in. Knife purgatory. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm choosing the Medford Slim Midi. This is an amazing knife. and It's a great user knife, it too. It would be in. I would have to, uh, as it is now, I would have to constantly oil the blade because it is... No, this is S35. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Less maintenance, uh -huh. yeah. I, I'm just so used to Medford being D2. Yeah, that's, what, that's my only reason of maybe not choosing this is because it's D2. So that's going up here. That's my first choice. Mm -hmm. Your your turn. I'm going with my Microtech. UTX eighty five. Yep. All right. You gotta have something like an auto. You have to have an automatic to get you through the rest of your life, right? Um, certainly an OTF. All right, bring bring that one over here. Okay. Let's let's go like this. All right, my turn. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with the Sharp by Design. Mini Typhoon. Mm -hmm. It's not so much mini. No. There is it's a micro. Big. You know what? Our micro typhoon is coming out later this month. We'll have it. Yes, we will. But it didn't make it in time. No, for the it wouldn't. It, it would, would be right I, underneath it. It would probably be Frankie's first choice. Yeah, no kidding. This one's already scuffed, <laughs> so I'm good it's, to go for it's EDC. Ready to go. Yeah. Um, that's going to be one of my choices. Top three. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Don't forget about the... Chunky? Brick. I'm going to go with my NCC Micro. That makes sense for you. Yep. And it is clipless. So there's there's sort of a gray area. Can you get accessories? Probably. Mm -hmm. She can probably get the clip for this. Yeah. I could probably have Nick make one. Yeah. Which, actually, he'd have to drill it? Yeah, he would. Okay. But that's... I think that's fair. Yeah. You Something send down the road. In. You yeah. can send your knife in for maintenance. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, those are my two to start with. Okay, but this is the game now. Roll to see who gets no. to pick next. Why? Cause, because it's my turn. No, oh. you might you might <laughs> okay, choose okay. what I want. All right. So we get to roll who gets to go first. So, so here's your roll. We have to roll at the same time. Blade so HQ it's, dice. So it's fair. All right. Well, um, highest number wins. Yes. Okay. One, two, three. HQ sign. Okay, roll again. What is the Blade HQ sign? Um, a zero. It's one. No, it's one. Is it one? There's okay. no zero on a dice. I'm saying it would be zero. <laughs> Never mind. No, it'd be one. I get it's it. One. I get it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Crap. <laughs> you good to go. Yeah. Okay, what are you going to choose? Um, Out of these? Mm hmm I mean... The NCC is really cool. Yeah. Solid detent. Mm-hmm. We know the, the maker behind it. Yes. This is discontinued. Mm-hmm. What do you think? This just makes more sense for every day. Even though it's not my favorite sleesh knife, it makes sense for every day. There's my three for the rest of my life. Can I have this one? No! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. What do you choose? This one's still in there. It's D2. I don't want D2. You don't want D2? Not for the rest of my life. Okay, so bring yours in. The benefit is that what yours is mine and what's mine is yours. So we get these together. Yes. Mutually, because we've got that binding marriage contract mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Yes, there are strict rules in the contract. The problem is, though... 
You're locked in, all right? Those are your three to choose yeah, from. Now okay. you have to choose one. One? Just one. Mm. These are Frankie's. She's got both NCC's and a Microtech. I've got a really nice Medford, a really nice uh, Sharp by Design, and a really nice Spyderco. Yeah. I've got solid choices, but for the rest of my life? <sighs> hmm. This is probably chunkier than I would have for the rest of my life. I love this knife. It's so, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. But it's, man, I don't know. And the tip, I feel like might be, maybe just for the rest of my life, might be too delicate. Yeah, Here, yeah, get, I get, can see that. Get your hands behind mm -hmm. there so we can show them. Just, yeah, it's real thin. Ah, it just comes to a yeah. super, super acute tip. Yeah. No. You got room over there? Yeah. It's well, up. he can still hang out because he's he's made it. No, to confuse he... people. Okay, he's going to go over there. here. Take, re remove one. Come on. Stop. This is a... Uh, it's pretty easy to me. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, you were never going to keep the full size no. of the mini. That being said, I wish there, there was one in between the two. Yeah, yeah, I Nick, can see that too. I kind of want one in between the two. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. This is a little small. That's a little big. Goldilocks wants one just right. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, with these two, I know a lot of you are thinking the sensible choice is probably the Spider Co. And I do love the wire clip. Mm-hmm. This think? is XHP. In my experience, it's been very similar to S35, which is what this knife is. That's a milled clip. Does it have over travel? No. It doesn't have over travel besides the clip itself. Mm, mm -hmm. um, whereas this one... Oops. Does. Does not. Oh, it doesn't either. Huh. Interesting. Hm. Yeah. That's maybe not the wisest choice for the rest of my life. Where's uh, where's that sharp by design that I got rid of? I think that does. Yeah. Oh, you want me back now? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thing where I got it. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's just a thing where I got to think about. Like, I can't hand the knife to anybody because that's... Over travel protection is... Dumbass protection, really. Yeah. All right. Between these two, I hate to do it, but I'm going to get rid of the Slim Midi. I, I love this knife so much, but it's gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, uh, between all the choices, this being $300, this is my choice, the Spider Co. And I don't even, it's not even my favorite knife, you know? It's just, it makes the most sense. Well, I shouldn't choose what I was going to choose Slim, if you want to make sense. It's the rest of your life. Uh. Well, to be fair, we don't have the most sensible choices in no, we don't. 250 and above. Because this one, I would probably lose over time because it's so little. You're going to need a lanyard. Yes. I need to carry it around my waist or my mm -hmm. neck because I would probably lose this. But then this is an automatic, so it's not really the best thing. Again, you can always send it back to be repaired. Okay. But then I could never travel to California. <laughs> yeah. You're going with the Microtech? UTX-85. Mm-hmm. I am. It's M390, so it's a good steel. Carbon fiber, yes, not the most super, user... I don't know. Super light. This is the most utilitarian blade shape that they do. Mm-hmm. Frankie's got a glass breaker. Yeah, I can escape out of the car. And it's I mean, not come on. the sharp one. It's not the one that tears up your arm. It's perfect. When you sit... It's got the easy-to-actuate button. It's a good choice, guys. It's, it's my favorite user of, mm -hmm. a, of an Ultratech, uh, in the Ultratech line. Yep. That's that it, guys. That would be my favorite. After all that, that's what we have. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Over, over 250. 250 and above, that's what we came up with the rest of our lives. Interesting, huh? Yeah, it is. Let's look at what we, what we put away. I mean, this really would have been great. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This, I, I just, I hate to get rid of it. It's so close between these two. Yeah. Guys, tell me I made the right choice. Tell me I made the right choice. These cost $500. These cost what probably five hundred dollars this and is an awesome knife too i yeah. almost choose it too but you chose it first yeah. this four these four would be a really good collection too yeah no, but no no you had to it. choose all right guys what do you choose from out of your collection 250 and over mm -hmm. <laughs> or if you can't play along that way um, make a game that you can play out of it's fun <laughs> play your own game randomly <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I don't know where I was going with that. All right. <laughs> I think that's everything, Frankie. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.